Hey, I'm Andrew Connell. This video is an overview of one of the chapters in my course, Mastering the SharePoint Framework, that's available for uh, purchase on my site, Voitanos.io. This overview video is going to give you an idea of everything that the chapter uh, covers. You can learn more by checking out the description uh, in the notes below the video. Um, if you got any questions about this chapter or about the course in general, just make sure you drop a comment uh, below in, in the uh, below the video, and I'll be sure to get back to you. So with that, let me get out of the way. Enjoy the overview to this chapter. Hello, and welcome back to my course on Mastering the SharePoint Framework. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at debugging and logging topics that are related to your SharePoint Framework projects. While creating custom solutions, developers need to have a firm grasp on different debugging options and techniques. That's what this chapter is going to do. This chapter is going to walk you through the different debugging options that are available to client-side developers. And it's also going to cover some of the logging options that you can take advantage of in your applications. You'll see some of the things that the SharePoint framework has to offer, as well as some of the things that you can take advantage of using some common browser debugging and developer tools. Now, in another chapter in the ultimate bundle of this course, I address doing some advanced telemetry, some advanced logging and usage analysis using something called Azure Application Insights. And that's what I use in my projects and I prefer to use them in my projects because all of my logging is then gonna be centralized and not siloed to a single user's experience on their desktop. Now that's a lot different than what I'm covering in this chapter, which is gonna focus just on the development process. If you wanna learn more, go check out that chapter as well. So what exactly are we gonna cover in this chapter? I'm going to start by covering some of the logging options that we have in SharePoint Framework projects. And this includes using both the APIs included in the SharePoint Framework that are in related packages, as well as some native browser logging capabilities. Then we'll look at some of the debugging options and topics for SharePoint Framework projects. You'll see how to use these native browser tools to debug your projects, as well as how you can configure VS Code to debug your SharePoint Framework projects. Okay, so that wraps up the introduction to this chapter on logging. Let's head to the next lesson and start learning what logging and debugging techniques we have in SharePoint Framework projects. So let's get started and I'll see you in the next lesson.